yeah, this needs a lot of introduction. Uh, let me let me um, see how I can do that. Uh, sure. And uh, we started our office in um, three years ago in a really uh, sort of uh, hard um, economic uh, uh, condition, and so uh, we realized, or, or basically, we had to sort of question what what can we do as architects and what's the role of architecture. And I think um, what has um, uh, become apparent to us is that we are uh, mostly interested in um, the creation. Uh, we're very interested in, in making uh, architecture, so operating in the physical realm, but we're not interested in architecture as a service. So we're not interested in providing um, the services of an architect. We um, believe that our main um, role is actually to uh, operate within the culture of architecture. And so we use the project that, are, that, that we were asked to, to work on actually also to uh, develop, um, uh, say, a cultural uh, agenda for the, for the practice. So um, I think our main motivation is really uh, just uh, um, having a vehicle to, um, uh, uh, yeah, to work on our own intellectual sort of curiosities. So it's, it's, it's very, I, I think it's very uh, personal uh, in that sense. But at the same time, I think it is um, also that we feel we have some sort of responsibility in a way to create a culture. This is very broad. I think we get uh, inspiration from uh, many uh, um, uh, places and uh, realms um, within, um, say, uh, human production. Um, so I think we are, I mean, we're inspired by movies, we're inspired by music, we're inspired by art. Um, but we're mostly, indeed, I think, uh, interested in people who maybe operate with the same uh, motivation, uh, independent of which uh, realm it is. So I think. Mostly we're really inspired by how the people are organizing themselves um, in the world and, uh, and the, um, the way uh, that sort of uh, finds uh, or um, that, that manifests itself. So it can be, <coughs> it can be purely through, uh, say, productions, uh, you know, art uh, uh, um, works, but also we're very interested in systems and the way you know, people have organized themselves in this, uh, in this world. We, the provocations, it's interesting, we have on the one hand, I think a client or a brief uh, you know, immediately triggers us to think, so we do need uh, somebody else to put something on our plate in a way, but at the same time we have, um, say, fascinations that would provoke work as well, so we also do work that is not necessarily, that not necessarily comes from a, from a client, but I do think um, um, we, we do need, other than say an artist um, who has to provoke himself, um, I think we uh, are very much architects in a sense that we, are, that we like to respond uh, rather than to uh, uh, initiate. I think um, what is really, um, I, I think finding um, a real um, new agenda other than um, the current um, sustainability agenda which is basically the excuse for continuing to do what we have been doing just with a little uh, green uh, sauce. I think <coughs> I think there's a real um, uh, important role that architecture can play within that um, but I'm uh, quite um, worried about the way it has been overtaking the profession um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way where it's not really dealing with the actual issues which are mostly about how we live on this planet and so I think our challenge is to uh, push uh, an agenda other than the sustainable agenda in um, creating or, or you know making architecture relevant so yeah um, I uh, will talk about that tonight uh, but I think um, we, the, 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 the challenges that we are uh, facing currently is that, you know, we as an architectural profession claim to sort of uh, uh, be able to predict the future or guarantee a certain future. And this future is obviously uh, needs to be better than the current. Um, but we are not actually in control at all of the future. And so our inability to uh, uh, actually deliver the promises that we uh, 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 give. Um, I think is the fundamental uh, uh, problem and I think if we can uh, redefine uh, the role of the architect in a way not by somebody who has the future uh, in their hands but is maybe more the enabler uh, of possible uh, futures um, or um, the one um, that 
well, um, uh, that, that can help frame certain questions without necessarily having to be the one that, that uh, you know, um, uh, guarantees a certain outcome. So I think this is very much how our practice also operates, where um, we don't know what the outcome will be, but we are the one um, with whom um, a client or somebody uh, chooses to, you know, go down a, a path. So I don't know if that's a very um, clear answer, but I think uh, somewhere um, uh, within that, I think uh, our our role could uh, lie.